Welcome to the reintroduction of you, whether it's your first time or you returning. I just want to thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me today. Um, today, I'm actually going to talk about something that really applies to a lot of us, and that is the fall transition or just seasonal transitions in general. Uh, where I am in the Midwest, it is getting nice and chilly. <laughs> um, we actually have a frost warning, our first frost war warning in this new season. And so the cold is here. The cold is ramping up and it's showing up and it's here. And so in doing so, it's time for a lot of us to transition our closets from our summer wear into our fall and winter wear. Now, I live in the Midwest, so we see all four seasons. It can be as hot as 105 degrees in the summertime, and it can be as cold as negative five degrees in the winter time. So as you can see, that's what 110 degree variation. Um, so we see all the seasons, rain in the spring, heat in the summer, brisk in the fall, and downright freezing in the winter time. We see all four seasons. So if you stay in another part of the United States, maybe like Arizona or Florida, you don't have as much variation in your seasonal wardrobe as let's say a person that's in the Midwest, New York, something like that. With that being said, I have had to come up with some really creative ways to store clothes because I have a fairly small home. I have a smaller closet and I don't have an extra room to make my closet. Uh, you know, every, every square inch of this house is premium real estate and has to have a very uh, specific purpose. And that purpose is not to turn it into a closet. Like I have to have space to do lots of other things. Anyway, so one of the things that I actually came up with is using storage solutions in order to store my things. So what you see here is actually a scoob. This is a nylon pouch. It has a zipper top. It actually has handles on it. And the reason why I call it a scoob is because that's what it's called at Ikea. Uh, they stand, they have them in different sizes, but this is about, I would say maybe, maybe 14 by about 28 inches. And it's, just tall enough to actually fit under my bed. So I put my summer clothes in here when it's winter time. So that way, when I go in my closet, all I'm looking at is things I can actually pull for in that season. I don't have my summer clothes and my winter clothes mixed up because I really don't have a need for a sundress, a strappy sundress with the back out when it's 10 degrees outside. And so in order to make sure that my closet is nice and organized, that I just have things that I can actually pull for, I'm eliminating the noise. I swap out my summer clothes in the winter. And then when it starts to get a little warm again, I put away my winter clothes and bring back out my summer clothes. Now, with that being said, it is definitely um, possible. And most of us have clothes that we actually wear all year round. So I have like uh, shells uh, that go under my jackets, but that I can wear them as regular tank tops in the summertime. So those things never get put up. I actually wear jeans all year round. Uh, so those things never get put up, but I don't have a need for my wool sweater in the middle of July. I, I don't. So I pack those things up. Um, this is just really cool because again, it's about maximizing your space. A lot of us have um, space under our beds. And so I pack these things up in these scoops by Ikea and I slide it under the bed and it's out of the way, not taking up literally any more floor space than my actual bed. These scoops from Ikea cost maybe, I don't know. I think they're like 10 bucks uh, for, for the large size. And um, I probably have four or five of them that, and I swear you can pack so much stuff in these things. I mean, it might not sound like it, but you can pack so much in them. And then because they're nylon and they have collapsible sides, when you're done with it, you can put it up or, you know, maybe you bought too many or, you know, for me, I have a lot more winter clothes, so I need more storage for my winter clothes I don't use in the summer than my summer clothes that I don't use in the winter, if that makes sense. So uh, 
during the winter time, I only use maybe two scoops. Whereas um, in the summertime, when I packed away my winter clothes, I use maybe four scoops and they collapse um, down really easily. So the next storage solution is a suitcase. Um, I am not a, a, a traveler. Like I travel. I don't want to say that. I do travel, but it's not like I'm a road warrior. I travel on vacation and for certain other special occasions. But other than that, for the most part, my suitcases only come out maybe two or three times a year. With that being said, I can use the space of my suitcase to pack away clothes that are off season. Um, I'm already, the suitcase is already going to be there. It's already going to be taking up space. So you may just may as well put something in it. So again, I use my suitcase to pack away things. Now this suitcase is actually broken. It has a broken leg on it. So I actually wouldn't use this one anyway. Uh, it still stands up as you can see, but I wouldn't actually take this on vacation because the suitcase is broken. So instead of, you know, stuffing it away downstairs to collect dust or even throwing it away because it's broken, I repurposed it to use for uh, clothes that are off season. And again, a lot of you guys know you can st stuff a lot of clothing, a lot of shoes, a lot of things into a suitcase because some of y'all have stuffed a lot of clothing, a lot of shoes a lot of stuff into a suitcase when you were traveling. If I were to, and I have several other suitcases, but if you actually needed your suitcase while those things are packed into them, you can take them out, lay them on your bed. You can pack it with the things that you need. And when you come back, you're gonna empty out your suitcase and wash those clothes. And then you repack it with the things that you, you know, after wiping it down or whatever, you repack it with the things that are on your bed that need to be stored away again. So it's just really easy, simple and, and cost effective solutions to um, make sure that you're keeping your closet edited, that you only have things there that you can pull for at that time. And to me, the elimination of that noise helps me get ready easier in the morning. I don't have to sift through 40 things that I know I'm not gonna wear because they're not season appropriate. I can pack those away and just have the things in front of me that I can use. The other big thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is that when you pack your things away, let's say right now I have summer clothes that I have packed away. When I pack my things away, and then I take them back out in let's say early mid April to look at those warmer weather clothes. It, it almost is like shopping again. Like you're like, Oh, 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 that was my favorite. Oh, you know, these things that you hadn't really seen or even thought about for six or seven months. So when you open it back up, you're like, oh man, there's there's that top that I really like. Oh, I can't wait to wear those shorts again. You know, it really invigorates you instead of seeing it every day, even though you might be passing it up, you're seeing it every day. It doesn't hit the same as when it's packed away and then you get to like represent it. You get to give it a rebirth. And the other thing that I think is interesting about that is that it also gives you an opportunity when you're moving the things from season to season, transitioning your closet from season to season, it gives you an opportunity to see where holes and gaps are in your wardrobe. So for instance, when I got my fall clothes out and I'm kind of trying on things to see if they still fit, if I still like them, if I'm still into them. And I've noticed that I actually would like to have a full length like cat suit because I have a few items that when I was putting them on, I'm like, oh, this would actually look really cute with a cat suit. Well, I don't have one. So now I know to put that on my um, on my on my to buy list. So, again, it just really gives an opportunity to edit as you go through to have this renewal, this fresh sense every time you switch out your wardrobe. When you see your clothes every day, they really just become a part of the background. When you see the same things over and over again, they really just become a part of the background. And so that ability to see things in a fresh light, that ability to see things in a new way, that's really important for making sure a lot of times that we're not shopping unnecessarily. I will tell you a story and this will be the last thing I talk about. I had a denim jacket and it's a black denim jacket. And what I really liked about this denim jacket 
is that it had matte black buttons. A lot of times when you buy a denim jacket, it has um, brush gold or brush silver buttons, but this one had matte black buttons. So anyway, I, uh, I wore it and I got something on it. And so I put it in the dirty clothes so I could go ahead and wash it. Maybe about a week later, I'm going through my clothes in my closet and I get the jacket and I'm like, I could have swore I put this in the dirty clothes. <laughs> like I, I thought it had a mustard stain on it, but I didn't really think anything about it. And then later on, I'm like, no, I put this in the dirty clothes. So sure enough, I went to the dirty clothes and that jacket was there. I had actually bought two of the same jacket and didn't even realize it because there was so much stuff in my closet that it was just like, a blur. I didn't even realize it. And I was so embarrassed. I was the only person in that room when that happened. And I was still so embarrassed because I had no idea what was in my closet. There was just so much stuff. Don't be like OC all y'all. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be embarrassed. Don't spend unnecessary money. Get an opportunity when you change your, your, when you transition your closet, you get an opportunity to almost shop, to almost see things in a fresh new light, to be invigorated by the things that you haven't seen in six months and get new ideas about how to wear them, how to style them. And then most importantly, you know, it's in your closet. Anyway, I hope you found these tips helpful. Um, if I can find a link for the scoops, I'll go ahead and, and link them. They always have them. Um, and again, they're very inexpensive and they come in all kinds of different sizes. So if you don't need one, maybe this big, they have different sizes for you. But anyway, just trying to encourage you guys to stay organized, to not shop as much, to, um, to, to get, to find ways to feel invigorated by your wardrobe without necessarily having to spend much money or any money at all. Um, but that's that's what it's all about, right? Being mindful, being conscientious, knowing what's in our closet so we don't have to spend un unnecessary money unnecessarily. Anyway, I've had a great time today. If you have any comments, suggestions, or you just want to say hello, you know to do it below. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye.